Have you ever wondered what happens when an athlete refuses to play by the rules of conventional wisdom and dares to push the boundaries of what's possible? Sifan Hassan did just that at the Olympics, leaving the world in awe and redefining the limits of human endurance in ways never seen before. Bronze in the 10,000. She said she was going to do the Zatapik. Nobody believed it was possible. Sifan Hassan is one of those athletes who seem almost mythical in their abilities. But her story is grounded in a journey that's both inspiring and, frankly, a little unbelievable. Born in Ethiopia, Hassan's early life was anything but easy. She moved to the Netherlands as a refugee when she was just a teenager, escaping a difficult situation in her homeland. Imagine being a young girl suddenly thrown into a completely different world with a new language and culture to navigate. But instead of being overwhelmed, Hassan found her way through running. Her talent was clear from the start. In the Netherlands, she quickly began to make a name for herself in the world of athletics. You might think that someone with her background would stick to what she knew best, maybe focus on one race and master it. But that's not how Hassan works. Early in her career, she started to show signs of what would become her trademark approach, an almost insatiable desire to push her limits and try things others wouldn't dare. And what can we expect to see on this last day of competition? There's still a lot uh, of medals up for grabs. Most athletes would find their niche and stick to it. That's the conventional wisdom after all. But Hassan, she has always been drawn to what's hard, what's unconventional. Her coach, Tim Roberry, even mentioned how she finds huge satisfaction in doing something that's really hard and unconventional. This mindset set her apart from her peers early on and would define her career as it progressed. By the time she made it to the Tokyo Olympics in 2021, Hassan had already built a reputation as an athlete who was willing to take on challenges that others would shy away from. When Sifan Hassan decided to compete in the 1,500 meters, 5,000 meters, and 10,000 meters at the Tokyo Olympics in 2021, she wasn't just signing up for a few races. She was committing to an almost unimaginable challenge. 24,500 meters of racing spread across six starts in just nine days. To put that into perspective, that's like running a half marathon at full speed over the course of a little more than a week but broken up into some of the most intense races imaginable. Most athletes wouldn't even consider taking on such a load, let alone at the Olympics where the stakes couldn't be higher. But Hassan, she embraced it with a determination. This is a performance that will never be forgotten. Sifan Hassan, in her own inimitable style, does something incredible. As the races took place, Hassan's performance was nothing short of extraordinary. She started with the 5,000 meters, where she claimed a gold medal, showing the world that she was not just participating in these events, but dominating them. Then came the 1,500 meters, where she took bronze, a remarkable feat, considering the fatigue she must have been battling. This question, whether she was crazy, was on the minds of many. After all, conventional wisdom in athletics is clear. To reach the top, you specialize. Athletes typically focus on one or two events, honing their skills and tailoring their training to peak in those specific areas. The idea is that more focused training will lead to greater success. But Hassan's approach was the complete opposite. She didn't just want to be good at one thing, she wanted to excel at everything all at once. Her coach, Tim Roberry, has spoken about how Hassan finds huge satisfaction in doing something that's really hard and unconventional. This drive to push herself beyond the ordinary is what makes her stand out. While other athletes might shy away from the risk of overextending themselves, Hassan seems to thrive on it. Her training was designed to push her limits, often racing on tired legs without the luxury of long recovery periods, all to simulate the exhaustion she would face during the Olympics and 5,000 meters, an incredible feat, all in the, the same week here at the Olympics. And this obviously adds to the free uh, uh, medals that she got. Roberry's insights into her mindset are fascinating. He describes their relationship as one filled with mutual respect, but also healthy debate. Hassan is someone who constantly questions everything, including the conventional limits imposed on athletes. It's this questioning, this refusal to accept the norm, that has led her to achieve feats 
that no one else would even consider attempting. And in doing so, she hasn't just won medals, she's redefined what it means to be an Olympic athlete. Hassan and Roberry, after watching a documentary about Zatopek's incredible achievements, couldn't help but wonder, could she do something similar? This wasn't just idle curiosity. For Hassan, who thrives on taking on challenges that others wouldn't even dream of, the idea of replicating Zatopek's feat at Paris 2024 became a tantalizing goal. It wasn't just about winning races anymore. It was about seeing how far she could push her own limits, how much she could handle. Inspired by Zatopek's story, Hassan's training for Paris took on a whole new intensity. Roberry and Hassan knew that if she wanted to tackle events as grueling as a marathon on top of her usual races, she'd need to prepare her body in ways that went beyond the norm. They came up with a training regimen that was as unconventional as it was demanding. Hassan began racing on tired legs, deliberately pushing herself without taking the kind of substantial breaks most athletes rely on to recover between major races. The idea behind this was simple, yet brutal, to replicate the exhaustion she would inevitably face in the Olympic marathon. By constantly training and racing while fatigued, Hassan was conditioning her body to keep going, even when it was screaming to stop. It's like she was training herself to run on empty, knowing that come race day in Paris, she'd be better prepared to handle the physical and mental toll. But this kind of training wasn't just about physical endurance, it was also a mental game. Hassan had to get comfortable with being uncomfortable, to embrace the pain and exhaustion that came with pushing her body to its limits. It was a calculated risk, one that most athletes wouldn't take, but for Hassan, it was necessary. Roberry, who knows Hassan better than anyone, has often spoken about how she's driven by a desire to do what others consider impossible. For her, the thrill comes from tackling challenges head on, from seeing how far she can push herself. And with Paris 2024 on the horizon, this mindset is more important than ever. The training is grueling, yes, but for Hassan, it's also incredibly satisfying. She's not just preparing to compete, she's preparing to test the very limits of what's possible in the world of athletics. As the Paris Olympics draw closer, it's clear that Hassan isn't just another athlete. She's someone who's rewriting the rules, challenging the conventional wisdom, and in the process, inspiring others to think differently about what it means to be an Olympic competitor. As Sifan Hassan prepared for the Paris Olympics, she made it clear that she wasn't just aiming to add more gold medals to her collection. She was setting out on an experiment, one that would push her to the brink of her capabilities. The marathon, a race that she openly admitted scared her, became the focal point of this ambitious journey. You've got to admire her honesty here. Not many athletes would admit to being nervous, let alone freaking scared, as she put it. But that's Hassan for you. Fear doesn't deter her, it fuels her. Her coach, Tim Roberry, shares this unorthodox approach. The two of them seem to thrive on pushing boundaries, questioning everything, and refusing to settle for the conventional path. At one point, they even joked with the Dutch Federation about entering Hassan in the 4x400 relay, a race for which she clearly wasn't prepared. But the joke wasn't just a throwaway comment it was a reflection of their mindset. They're constantly wondering, is there a limit on how many events you can do? It's a question that goes beyond just the physical. It's about exploring the very edges of human capability. As the Paris Olympics approach, the world watches with anticipation. Will Hassan achieve another series of incredible feats? Maybe, maybe not. But what's certain is that she'll be out there, challenging herself in ways that no one else dares to. And in doing so, she'll once again redefine what's possible in the world of athletics. It's not just about winning, it's about the journey, the experiment, and the relentless pursuit of limits that makes Sifan Hassan one of the most intriguing athletes of our time. What Hassan has done is redefine what endurance means in the context of the Olympics, 
It's not just about the physical ability to keep going. It's about the mental fortitude to embrace the impossible and push through the exhaustion. Her approach has shown that endurance isn't limited to how long you can sustain a single race, but how you can continuously perform at an elite level across different challenges. And in doing so, she's opened up a new realm of possibilities, one where specialization isn't the only path to greatness. This shift could have a lasting impact on future Olympic athletes. Hassan's willingness to take on multiple demanding events may inspire others to consider broader challenges. Instead of seeing the Olympics as a place where you excel in just one event, future athletes might start looking at it as an arena where they can test their limits across various disciplines. It's a mindset that could lead to a new breed of Olympic competitors. Those who, like Hassan, aren't content with just one achievement, but seek to push the boundaries of what's possible. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.